All right, so today we're talking about Gucci Mane and Keisha Kayor. So Keisha Kayor, that's Gucci Mane's wife, she recently gave birth to their son. Uh, the birth date was December 23rd, so that was like two days before Christmas, seven pounds, one ounce. Gucci made the announcement to everybody on Instagram. He said, my wife just gave me a seven pound, one ounce baby boy. His name, Ice Davis. 12 23 20 thank you mrs davis he's here and around christmas he made another post he said best christmas gift ever my son ice davis thank you babe i love you and appreciate you mrs davis keisha k york now this is gucci's second son he has another son that's 12 years old while i believe this is keisha's fourth kid she had two daughters and a son from a previous relationship the couple got married in October 2017 on, I believe, 10-17-17. You know, 10-17, those are Gucci's numbers related to his record label. But what got a lot of people talking right now is the fact that Gucci gifted her a push present and it was $1 million. On Instagram, Keisha said, My husband just gave me $1 million for my push present. WTH with various different emojis, kind of like mixed emotions. I don't know how she really feels about it. We're not sure if she's happy about it or if she's upset about it or what. But I will say if Keisha's happy with it, I'm fine as well. Hey, Keisha, she's been there for Gucci Mane for years. Although they just got married about, what, three years ago or a little bit over three years ago. They've been with each other for years and she was there with him when he was in prison. He went to prison, she helped him turn his life around. He came out looking like a different person. Everybody thought he was a clone, but it's still the same old Gucci. Try him if you want to, you'll see he's the same old Gucci. But there is a different side of him that we've been able to see since he's been growing and he's been aging and older. He's been growing with Keisha Kayor. They obviously love each other very much. I guess you can say they have a blended family and what they're doing, it works for them. I'm absolutely 100% supportive of their union and their relationship. I love seeing them together. I love seeing them grind together. They don't always get the respect they deserve. People like to look at them kind of like the ghetto fabulous couple, but ghetto fabulous are not. This is a power couple. They are making money together. And Keisha, she's doing her part as well. She respects Gucci, she loves Gucci, she makes him happy, he's at peace with her. And hey, I love it. I absolutely love what they have going on. But what I would like to say about this whole situation when it comes to push presents and this whole thing with regular women, you know, wanting their men to shower them with a bunch of different gifts and expensive stuff that they may not be able to afford. For instance, I saw Nicki Minaj, she posted pictures of her baby boy within the last week and he was decked down, of course, various pictures of him wearing Gucci, Fendi, Versace. And you know, a lot of that stuff is gifted to them. What I don't understand is when regular people, okay? Regular women who are not in the same tax bracket as these people. People making $50,000 a year, $70,000 a year, even $80,000 a year. And I would even like to say $100,000. People making that type of money should not be looking at people who are making multiple millions each quarter. We're talking about every quarter, these people are making multiple millions. Between Gucci and Keisha, they're making multiple millions in a month. We're talking about multimillionaires here. And then you have people who may just be scratching the surface of 100,000 or even people making half of that or less. They look at these people and believe they deserve the same type of lifestyle that they have. The problem is that you can't live the lifestyle of a multimillionaire if you're a five-figure earner. You cannot live the lifestyle of a multimillionaire if you're a six-figure earner. In order to live the lifestyle of a multimillionaire, you need to be a multimillionaire to be able to afford multimillionaire things. A lot of us sometimes get ourselves in trouble when we're attempting to do what they call live above our means. This is how people find themselves in financial troubles and financial issues is the number one, usually the number one reason for couples breaking up, the number one reason for divorces is caused by money. Money, not being able to afford certain things, not being able to maintain the lifestyle or the home, that brings upon a certain type of stress that wrecks havoc on these type of modern relationships these days 
that's really not even standing on much of anything. But besides that, it's the number one issue for a breakup, the number one issue for a divorce. And it's been said that social media, when it comes to um, women and uh, the happiness of women, social media tends to make a lot of women unhappy. That's because they're on there comparing their lives to other people and what they're posting to be. And when I say post to be or posting to be, I say that because most of the lives that you're seeing on social media, they're not real. They're posting and showing you what they wanna show you. And they're sometimes fluffing their lifestyle. To be very honest with you, a lot of it is a lie. So when you have people that's uh, consuming this information, consuming the pictures and all the stuff on social media, and they're looking at everybody and they're like, you know what, I want my life to look like that. That looks good. I wanna live like that. But when you don't have the money to live like that, that's where the problem comes in. Let's take it back to Gucci Mane and Keisha Kaior. You have a lot of women who may see Gucci Mane showering Keisha with a bunch of gifts, giving her a million dollars for having a baby. And so they'll look over at their man. Of course, their man may not have a million dollars to give them, but they still want to figure out a way that he can show that he cares about her just as much as that man cared about his wife to give her a million dollars. And that's wrong. That's setting crazy expectations, uh, outrageous expectations. You're putting that in yourself and you're putting that on your man. That's just not good. You cannot expect for your man to give you a present or give you a bunch of money or give you a diamond necklace because you had a baby. It's not normal and sadly, stuff like this is becoming a norm. For whatever reason, whenever people see celebrities, very wealthy people doing things these days, they want to copy them and do everything they do. Back in the day, people used to have babies. You know, they'll have like a, a little baby shower, usually a, a very modest baby shower that'll be put on by a friend or a family member. Very modest though, very modest. Nowadays, especially regular people too, because they've seen celebrities do it, they're spending so much money on a baby shower. I mean, more money on the baby shower than the amount of money they're receiving in gifts from actually having the baby shower. Which always brings me to this question. What are they having the baby shower for? If you just spent five, ten thousand dollars on a baby shower, what is the baby shower for? You don't really need the baby shower. The baby shower is to celebrate you having a baby and to be able to give you gifts that can help you with the things that you need to purchase for that baby. But if you just spent five, ten thousand dollars on a baby shower, you obviously have enough money to buy all of your gifts. So what are you really doing this for? Let's be honest here. A lot of women these days. They see celebrity women and they see fame and they want to feel the same way they feel. They wanna feel like a celebrity. They wanna feel like a millionaire for a day. They wanna feel special. Everybody's not a celebrity. Everybody's not famous. What's causing a lot of depression in women these days, the modern woman especially, the fight to keep up with the Joneses and the unnecessary, unnecessary, unnecessary pressure that's being put on them by themselves. Because men don't care about a baby shower or a push present or all this extra stuff. No, you want this stuff because you see other people doing it. The lifestyle that Keisha and Gucci Mane lives, that's for not even the one percenters. Less than one percent of people live like that. So I think it's outrageous for people or in the lower class, middle class, I think it's outrageous for them to look at people like this and just think that they can live like that. I'm telling you, people always ask why is the modern woman so unhappy? I mean, these days we are the most free women. We're the most educated women with all the degrees from bachelor degrees to masters, so many PhDs, they work the most jobs. But why are modern women so unhappy? And I really believe that stuff like this is the reason why. Now, I'm not saying that modern women are jealous of people like Keisha Kayor. I just think they look at people like Keisha Kayor and they want the same lifestyle as well. And unfortunately, unfortunately, you can't afford a millionaire's lifestyle on a $50,000 budget. Cold, hard truth of all of this. 
And I'm saying this with love. I'm not saying this to make anybody upset, but I just want women to think about this. You cannot look at these people and think that you're supposed to get it to. Women, if you're ready to change, you wanna hear the truth, you want a better outcome in life, you want a better relationship, you want a relationship, subscribe to this channel. You definitely don't wanna miss out on these pink book lessons. You guys can go ahead and let me know what you think below in the comments. Fellas, you can comment as well. Everyone just be respectful. Again, remember to subscribe, like, and share.